Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. In the last episode, I can't remember what it did actually, I think we did some gas mining. Today we're going to go and build a space elevator. Now the space elevator is new to advanced rocketry in version 1.2. So I've upgraded my advanced rocketry to 1.2 and I've also upgraded my um, libvulpis to the latest version which I think is 0 0.24 anyway I'll put those that information in the description so you can see what it is so let's go and have a look at this what we're going to do is we're going to build a space elevator in fact we're going to have to build two the reason we're going to build two is because we need one for to land or to get to it's very similar to the teleport pads and this is where I prepared it here so what I've got is some cabling all the way around here like this and it's a 7x7 block and the power is coming from this uh, microwave receiver with its three um, so look if we can see it that's the one with its three um, satellites going up these pipes can do 500 so I could potentially have five well at least for one output cable I could have five so here we've got a 7x7 seven seven block. Let's go and get the bits and pieces that we need. I hope we've got enough inventory space here. I want that into there. Let's have a look. And we need a lot of bits and pieces. I am using machine structures. Now, according to the developer, these actually do not matter. The only thing that I've found that actually affects the speed, I'll take that as well with us once we've got the space, is the is the motors so i've been using elite motors which are by far the fastest that i've found so far so i'm going to finish this this is just about i showed you this already so i'm going to fill this up like this and the reason i've actually got too many connections here i've got uh, four I, and you really only need three but i've built four because sometimes you need to rotate this or at least in the version i've got you need to rotate this so this is the middle block here so this is where we're going to start from um, I'll fill that up too so as you can see this is a 7x7 seven seven base and here in the hollow projector I've got it already set up so for the space elevator you can see you need one space elevator three power input plugs six motors six coils and it doesn't matter what type of coil as far as I can see and then either stone, stone sandstone block of iron machine structures or advanced machine machine structures and you need 118 so that's one stack and 54 and you need four redstone lamps so let's go and build this one and we have to do the same thing on the moon so right click that on there yes I've got the wrong bit I need to bring it down like that and it's a large structure so let's start with the machine structures down here. I shall remove these items out of the way and I will bring in what I need for the bottom row, which is motors, coils and power. I think that's all we need for the bottom row. And let me just start to put it down. So let's go. So these four here are always blocks of machine structures and on the front row you have a front row and here where that row is the, you have the here we have coils and motors so let's put the motors down next and the input power plug is here and then we have another set of structures of four I still haven't silenced those uh, gusts have I and here we have coils, and it can be any type of coil. I, I just happened to have. Well, I was trying. I was thinking about trying them out, but I ended up just doing gold coils because there was a problem with this when I first do it. Oops! And I raised a case or an issue with the um, developer, and he says it doesn't really matter. But you know, I wanted to t see what possibilities you could actually have. So here we go. And there were a few bugs so one of the bugs was actually the power it didn't actually 
these power input modules are supposed to store 100,000 and they were only storing um, 10,000 and since this machine needs 50,000 to send you up it wasn't working there was also another bug with orientation so that's why I've put the 4 in here so the next layer, let's have a look at this it's just a gap here and the rest of these are blocks so we'll put the blocks down It took a while to get that sorted out, but he, he was very responsive, the developer, and it got fixed actually within about, I think, two days from start to finish. So again, this is another one of these almost identical layers, so put those, with the exception of this block here, which is the space elevator block. And that shows you where the front of the machine is. Uh, I'll leave that to the last. We can come back and do that in a minute. So let's do the next layer. And the next layer is again a set of machine structure blocks. In the way, let's get down top. Yes, that one. Actually, this is the one that forms a passageway. What this elevator does is very similar to um, a rocket except for instead of using fuel they use power so that's the actual penultimate layer so let's have a look at the last layer it should just be four it is so we need to get rid of these structures you see we've got 50, 64 and 15 six of those and 12 of those for the next one three power coils and we just need four redstone lamps to finish this off and then we will have to go and make something right, like that so the last thing we need to put in here was was that block there which is the space elevator block here like this and all right click this and now it forms so let's have a quick look at this from a little bit further afield and you'll see there's a as a column going up and down here where the elevator will come to so now we can check certain things so i actually put this down here to start with and the reason i did that is as, a, as an entrance because the earlier version it would have put the column here behind me so let's just put those slabs down there the idea is you can then just simply walk into this thing now on here you have some items you need so we've got power and this should now say 300,000 power so look at it it does and it needs turning on and we can summon a capsule which brings the capsule in here like that and we need a chip so what we need is an elevator chip so let, I should have a recipe for that so let's have a look for elevator chips here we are so I want to craft two of these so that's what it needs to do that so we can start this one linker okay interesting oh yes it needs one and it needs to craft one that should go very quickly because it's got it's everything in the um, precision assembly is also automated so that actually is actually made in the prison let's have a look at the recipe for it actually this one so that's made with a tracking circuit and a space station ID chip and space station ID chip was made with a linker and a circuit and this is the tracking circuit which is also made in this in the space station assembler so let's go back in and have a look again see if we've got those elevator chips it's taking a while i hope it's working i might have not got it to work properly we'll, we'll see because i need those and i also need a linker so let's take our linker have i got a linker on me here no i haven't let's make a link up quickly There we are. Let's 
They're still crafting, that's interesting. I probably got it wrong. And what you do with the link is you shift right click on this elevator block here, like that. So now the coordinates are programmed to the linker. So the next thing you have to do is we have to go and build the second half of this on the, on the space station. But first of all, I'll go and see if that was wrong with those linker chip, with those uh, elevator chips. It might be that one of the recipes has got blocked on the thing. Let's have a look. Just go downstairs, check that this is. It says it's crafting too. What's it doing? It's crafting those. Something a bit strange with A2 at the moment. It doesn't seem to be 100% okay. But let's just go downstairs to the area and see what's actually been done. So here's the recipe for that. And there doesn't seem to be anything in here. Let's have a look. See, they're still not crafted yet. So what do we need for that? Well, so a, um, let's go back to this one. Okay, so we need a tracking circuit and a space station chip. So we need a basic plate. So we should be able to craft one of those up. We don't have a linker. We have to make another linker. Let's go back and do that first of all. So that should work. So next one. Let me have a look and see what we've got for chip in here. See, I've got one of those. I don't think it crafted anything at all. It's a bit strange. Let's have a look. Let's make another one of these because we need to make another linker. I'll have to see what's going wrong with that. Let's see if we can craft those automatically and see if it will actually craft those. Um, that was a tracking circuit, wasn't it? I've got five of those already, so I don't need those. So I should be able to take two of those out of there like that. I wonder if I can actually craft this now. Let's have a look. Yes, that's... Oh! It's turned off. There, that was very fast. And yes, I've got my circuits. Oh, that was a bit of a boob. I know why that is. Because what I did here is I automated this for... I put in a an ender chest here to automate this. So I could do multiple... Ones with five uh, components is the idea of that. And I didn't turn it on afterwards. Good up. So now we've got our elevator chips. So let's just get two of those out of there. So it was working just fine. Right, good. Let's go to the elevator and put one of those chips in here. We're going to have to come back, of course, once we've set up the other one on the space station. That. You might also notice here there's a very fine line pointing from the fueling station to the rocket. I think that's something that's added also in one of the, ver the newer versions. So I don't want to go and link it though, I need to right click this for something else, space station 2. Let's go and let's sort of put my helmet on at the same time. And we will do that. But what I'll do is I won't, maybe I will bother bother building it in front of you again because it's exactly the same as I've done. So I'll probably just skip that part when I get there. And uh, when it's built, I will then come back, as it were. So let's just go up to the top here. Because what I did is I sent up another 
big flat plane in order to build the rocket on as you can see here that is in fact in this direction How far are we? not far away now I built another platform and again I use these border blocks so that you could actually see where we want to put it and since the this bug's been fixed here I can have the entrance on this side which is where I really wanted it to be in the first place so we'll do that so I basically I'll set it up like this and I want to be in the middle here like that and right click that and of course it's going to be on the wrong leg because that was the last one I did so I will see you in a few seconds. Right, I'm back again. And let's just put in the last block here. Right click it and it forms again. Now, as you can see, this is actually okay. We've got the, the sort of column coming in here. So now we need to put the other elevator chip in here, which is empty. So we then take our linker here and we shift right click this and it should put that into this so it should add the destination here like that so it says new destination added so what we now need to do is do we can clear this one by shift right clicking on a block so now it's empty coordinate sunset and then i can shift right click this again and it says these coordinates are programmed into the linker so let's go on here and turn it on it's already got power i'll have a look at this in a second and this contains two entries so then we can actually summon the capsule like that and select destination so this one's red so you can't select that one because that's the current destination so we can select this one and that's it all we need to do now is we get in and it should go in eight seconds and you get a nice little countdown and the reason you've got a countdown is when you get to the other end it'll start counting down again here we go Hopefully it works because I've got a rocket down there, so we shall see. So it goes up. As you look on the um, on the mini map, it's actually counting up just like the rocket does. And the speed it, the speed it's going up is obviously to do with the motors. I think at the moment it's actually not working. Now we're coming down. It's a bit glitchy this bit. Don't ask me why. But we come out of it. What we can actually also do is we can press shift, but I won't do that for the time being. I'll just let it come down. How far are we? 166. And you can see the thing. Look through the window there. You can see blocks and things. Oops, and I've pressed shift and got out of it. Like that. So that's how that works. We come back in here. Now you've got to select the destination. Because if you get in here like this, it says no destination selected. And I don't think we actually have to program this. So we can select dimension two because we've already done it on the other side to get in. And off we go. And here we go. Up we go again. Well, actually, when you're in the middle, you can't move. You're, you're sort of placed in that position. Also, the air is breathable in here. So you don't need to worry about uh, not having an oxygen I think it does need to be open to the atmosphere or can see the night sky for it to work properly. The glitch is a bit annoying, but uh, where are we doing? Yes, we're going down again now. And it's not instantaneous see this is the countdown it's starting for the next one so if i stayed in that i'd go back again in fact actually it might make sense to actually leave the rocket here because that's ready and fueled up and as you can see it's got the line pointing from this link can you just see that actually there's a line pointing from this fueling station into the rocket here so that means the rocket gets filled up so anyway we might as well take the elevator back again filled in the area of course let's go home because it's probably I'm only going to use the rocket to go from here to the moon ah, maybe that's all I need it for and we actually want to go back and have a look at that geode mine that we've done before
but there's quite a lot there's still quite a lot in this mod when we get back I'll have a quick look at what the next things we can have a look at so, so just said there press shift left to let's just do that get out of the thing and we should go faster down than the rocket uh, than the capsule we can actually see oh there it is we can actually see it land coming in here like this boom that's our capsule so something new again i hope you enjoyed this one uh and i'll leave in the links to the actual the latest versions of the of the mod for this particular task so until then bye for now